Hello YouTube. As you may have noticed, uh, I don't do any kind of scripting or video editing, so this may turn out to be a long clip. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've given you guys anything new, so I thought I'd give you something that I was working on uh, the other week that I never really recorded. Uh, this is my combination lock. Um, you can reset the combination to whatever you want without having to break anything or rewire anything. I'm not going to rebuild it from the ground up, but I will show you how each and every component works. Now, right now, I have the password set to uh, 2478, and uh, how that works is uh, the bottom left is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, for uh, future reference. All right, so 2, 4, 7, 8. And as you can see, the door opens. If anything else is pressed, the door will close over here. That's the reset. Now this whole mess of dirt right here is just separating out the wires. That was uh, That's probably the hardest part about one of these. Everything else is really simple. And I'm not going to go over how to separate those out. That's going to be a problem for you. Uh, every one of the uh, signals comes to an inverter. So this turns on when the button is pressed and turns back off otherwise. Uh, that is sent into this block, which is above this torch here and is sent from this block into this turning off that torch. That torch is sending in power when it's turned on to this block which has that torch on it. So that locks out that block. Uh, right there is the reset switch comes into a wire going into a repeater into every one of these torches. So that turns those off allowing this to turn on and locking it out this will turn that off allowing this to turn on and locking it out so it's just a bunch of RS nor latches very simple same kind of idea behind the RS nor latches used in all my other uh, recent contraptions each one of those uh, when this torch is turned on sends power into this block on all of these contraptions this is just the same thing over and over and over with switches on top and I'm gonna build one of these to show you how it works but basically it is a very tiny vertical XOR gate which means only one input as long as only one input is on the output will be on if both inputs are off the output is off if both inputs are on the output is off uh, each one of these goes into a node of an AND gate now this wire was far too long for uh, me to use just one AND gate so I had this AND gate wired into an, uh, an extra node onto this AND gate sort of combining them into one thing that sends the power down to here where the power gets inverted sent into this uh, so as long as the power is off this torch is turned off it's kinda like an old school repeater so there you go and that will open the door uh, the only part that I should need to show is that but real quick I'll show you an RS Norlatch the type I just built see where I have some room. I have some room right here. So right here. Bam. So uh, uh. all right, so this is wired to the reset button. Yeah, let's see. Bam. So we'll call that the reset button. As you can see that'll power the switch, turning that off. And uh, this will be powered this will be attached to the actual uh, keypad. For simulation purposes. Bam. Alright, um, bam, I need that there. So that there, that there. So that's how that's built. Now let's go ahead and go there. So we'll consider this the on or off state. It's off. When it's like that. When I hit this, it turns on and stays on. It does not stay on apparently. <laughs> I missed. Let's reset. Ow! Duh! Kind of help if I put that there. Alright, so if I press this, that goes off, stays off. I press this, that goes on, stays on. That is the basics of how an RS Norlatch works, and that's all there is to it. Oops. Bam. Let's get rid of all this so I don't forget to clean it up later. Because I will. I definitely will. Alright, so now the hard part, this XOR gate, and I, I say hard part, it's really, really easy to build. 
you need your first input, which right now I have repeaters going into it, but I'm just going to use a switch for this. Redstone, second input, which is the switches up there. Now the thing about this red dust is it will be activated by that switch and by that switch because this block being strongly powered is adjacent to this red dust so it will power on. Additionally that switch will power this red dust to turn off that. This switch will power the red dust to turn this off on, uh, to turn this off, which this is constantly powering that to turn that off. This also powers this red dust and so does the switch. So I need that and that and this. So both this torch and this torch are now powering that red dust. So when this power is off, this uh, torch and this torch are off, allowing that red dust to turn off and this torch, torch to turn on and that to go down. If I turn this on, this torch is now off and so is that one. I turn this off, both of these torches are on, but that one is are off and that one is on, allowing this to go on. So quick vertical XOR gate. And that's all there is to a nine digit uh, combination lock. Here's a good uh, bird's eye view of it. Alright. And yeah. As long as you can get this mess of wiring done, which like I said it's a lot easier than it looks but I'm not rebuilding it because it does take a while then you will be good to go and that the entire purpose of that is just to split them up with a space in between each one have fun thanks for watching